Yom Tov, good day. This is the 22nd day of September 2020. I'm Stephen Brook. This is Messianic Moment Ministries, and thank you for being here. In these modern times, <clears throat> when science fiction is almost a prophecy of reality, the wormhole theory is still unproven, but so popular with TV shows and movies that most people probably think they do exist. A wormhole is, is a break, so to speak, within the space-time continuum. In other words, it's a connection between two locations that can be crossed without traveling the distance. Let's see how this works. Say you're at the beginning of a 100 mile long road. This road has a large hinge in the middle that allows it to fold up in just one second so that both ends are touching each other. Now, you're standing at the beginning of the road and when the hinge operates, the roads come together with just a single step you cross to the other end of the road, which then opens up. Well, what's happened here is that it's extended itself to its original position, and you, with one step, have traveled 100 miles in a matter of two or three seconds. Interesting. So, new. what does this have to do with God or the Bible? Well, I think it actually has a lot to do with it, if you'll allow me to explain we are given free will, the opportunity and the right to choose what we will do, say, and who we'll, we will be. As God told Cain, sin is always crouching at our door, and it is up to us to conquer it or fall victim to it. Either way, it is our choice, no matter why we choose it, and we will be held accountable for the choices we make. When we are old enough to know right from wrong, we begin walking on a road. We have no choice but to walk this road, but the road extends into infinity in many different directions. The problem is that there is no visible connection or bridge between these roads. However, as you walk along the road, there are doors on either side and they are labeled. Some are labeled to desires of the flesh and others are labeled to sacrifice and self-discipline. It appears to most people that as they walk on their chosen path through life, once they have traveled on that road, there, there is no going back or changing. Along the road on both sides is a bottomless chasm. However, the doors are always there. And even though if you look, you don't see anything on the other side of the door, it's because they are spiritual wormholes and they can take us to a totally different road. All we have to do is choose one walk through it, and in one simple step, we are on a totally different road. This is how free will, our gifts from God, can save us or destroy us. Now, this is really good news if you are living a sinful life because it means no matter how long you have walked this sinful road, you can change the path you are taking to another one. But it's a double-edged sword for those who are walking the path of righteousness can just as easily lose their way by going through the wrong door. In the end, every road we take leads to the throne of judgment. Now this is what we're told in Ezekiel 18.21-24. However, if the wicked person repents of all the sins he committed, keeps my laws, and does what is lawful and right, then he will certainly live. He will not die. None of the transgressions he has committed will be remembered against him. For the righteousness that he has done, he will live. Do I take any pleasure at all in having the wicked person die? Asks Adonai Elohim. Wouldn't I prefer that he turn from his ways and live? On the other hand, when the righteous person turns away from his righteousness and commits wickedness by acting in accordance with all the disgusting practices that the wicked person does, will he live? None of the righteous deeds he has done will be remembered. For the trespasses and sins he has committed, he will die. This is God's confirmation to us that no matter how many miles we have walked in sin, one step through the door, and we are on the path of righteousness, no longer walking to certain death. 
And the same goes for people who change their route from righteousness to sinfulness. The doors that we pass during our lifetime are all spiritual wormholes that can transport us from Sheol to heaven or in the other direction. All we have to do is step through them. Sounds easy, doesn't it? The, the problem is it, it isn't easy. In fact, it can often be very difficult and too often simply because people don't realize the doors are wormholes. They think they are just cosmetic because when we open the door, we can't see where it leads to. We have to take a step of faith when we go through one of those doors. If you are on a pathway that you chose before you knew better and feel that you just can't change your direction, you are most certainly mistaken. You have the opportunity to change lanes, to get off this highway and to travel to a better destination anytime you want to. And if you don't see any doors for you, well, right now, don't worry about it. Ask God to provide one for you. It may happen immediately, or you may have to look, wait a bit, but look for the door. It will be there. But be warned, the enemy of God, Satan, also knows how to make a door. So before walking through any door, always read the label. Thank you for being here. And please share these messages to help this ministry grow. I never asked for money, but it would be nice if you bought some of the books I've written. So please don't forget also subscribe. Click the icons here on YouTube. Go back to the website, the subscribe button in the right margin. Click then. And all that does is it means you'll be notified next time I post a message. So until next time, Lihitrot and Baruch Hashem.